All right, thanks guys. Once again, happy Monday to you. And, uh, you know, we're still kind of licking our wounds here because uh, I had a pretty rough day in my personal bets on BrockPage.com yesterday. Uh, we dropped down to just five and one with a push in our last $7.99 daily best plays on that website. It's good for about 83% in that span. Uh, $1,000 bettors are now up only $3,500 during that stretch after that loss. Got to do a better job. So uh, if you think we can bounce back here today, uh, the link for today's $1.99 daily best play is in the description section below. It's only going to cost you just $1.99. Pretty optimistic. I am feeling good about that daily best play here today. I think we're going to uh, do a good job in cash in on our ticket. Now, if you're not signed up for that package or if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm going to explain a little bit more about it in just a moment. But before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to the video. My name is Brock Page and I do sports picks for free right here on YouTube. I also sell my personal bets on BrockPage.com and I have packages on that website starting at just $1.99. Now the purpose of these YouTube videos is to provide you with free informational sports betting content and is also designed to generate interest in signing up for a membership on my website. Now, you may be wondering what the difference is between what I do here on YouTube and what I do on my webpage. Well, what I do here on YouTube is I'll handicap the entire slate of games in any given sport, side, and total. And what I do on my website is I actually share with you which one of these free YouTube picks on my channel that I'm actually betting on personally. And with that, guys, like I said, looking to bounce back, looking to have a better day. Five and one with a push in our last seven daily best plays not good, not getting the job done. So we got to do a better job. All right, let's go ahead and dive into our uh, our uh, free content here. We're going to start with the Bulls taking on the Heat, 7.30 Eastern start time on Monday, February 28th, 2022. Miami's minus three and a half, totals 224. Now Miami's on a three-game winning streak, and they also got the W in eight out of their last nine. Now, when it comes to playing at home, Miami really doesn't lose many games in South Beach. These guys are 20 and 7 straight up at the FTX Arena. And they're leading the association in home defensive rebounding. Now, scoring wise, Jimmy Butler is averaging over 21 and a half points per contest, along with six rebounds and five assists. Meanwhile, Tyler Hero, he's dropping 20 points a night himself, along with four boards and three assists as well. When it comes to shooting the three ball, Miami's actually in the top three in the country. Uh, <laughs> in the country. I'm used to capping college basketball. Uh, Miami's in the top three in the NBA in offensive three-point percentage. They're taking on a Chicago team who's amongst the worst rebounding teams in the East. As a matter of fact, these guys are dead last in the entire NBA in road offensive rebounding. Now, they've also had their difficulties on the defensive end of the court as well. Chicago currently finds themselves in the bottom five in guarding the three ball. Now, when it comes to the injury report, not a whole lot of uh, things changing here for the Bulls, uh, Caruso and Ball. They are still out and definitely for Chicago. Meanwhile, for the Heat on the other side of things, Lowry's out. Martin is questionable. And when it comes to the total in this one, Miami saw unders recently with Charlotte, Dallas, and New Orleans. Meanwhile, Chicago saw four out of their last five fall under the line themselves. I'm going to lean toward Miami, minus three and a half, and the under, 224. Next ball game, it is going to be Hornets versus the Bucks, 8 p.m. Eastern start time. Milwaukee's minus 10 with a total at uh, 240 and a half. But despite laying double digits at home here, the Bucks really haven't played great basketball over the past few weeks or so. Uh, these guys failed to cover the point spread in their last five straight, and they got the outright W just once during that span. Now, when it comes to covering the number at home, Milwaukee's covering the point spread in only 34% of their contests at the Pfizer Forum. Now, one of my bigger concerns for the Bucks uh, and Bucks fans in general is, uh, you know, uh, spit it out, dude. Get it out. Spit it out, Junior. Try it again. Got a big concern for Bucks fans, and it's this. Defensive rebounding, believe it or not. 
Milwaukee's currently in the bottom 10 in the NBA in home defensive boards. They're taking on a Charlotte team who should be able to out-rebound them on the offensive end of the court. Charlotte currently finds themselves in the top 10 in the league in offensive rebounding. Charlotte does good rebounding the basketball offensively. Bucks do a bad job rebounding defensively. Should be a pretty good matchup for Charlotte. Now, scoring-wise, uh, well, Charlotte's actually in the top three in the NBA in road scoring per game. Miles Bridges scores 20 points a game along with seven rebounds and three assists. Meanwhile, LaMelo Ball, he's dropping over 19 and a half points per contest himself along with seven rebounds and seven and a half assists. Now, when it comes to shooting the three ball in this one, Charlotte's in the top 10 in offensive three-point percentage on the road. When it comes to the injury report, McDaniels and Richards are questionable. Hayward is out. Meanwhile, for Milwaukee, Hill, Connaughton, and Lopez are still out for them. When it comes to the total in this one, Milwaukee saw their last eight straight get over the posted number. Meanwhile, Charlotte went 4-2 and two to the over in their last six themselves. I'm going to lean towards Charlotte plus 10 in the over, 240.5. Next contest, it is going to be Kings versus the Thunder, 8 p.m. Eastern start time. Sacramento is minus 5 with the total at 228.5. And even though the, uh, uh, the Kings are the five-point favorite on the road here, uh, Sacramento has been playing some pretty bad basketball here lately. Uh, these guys are currently on a four-game losing streak, and they're allowing nearly 118 points a game on the road. And speaking of road games, Sacramento's winning just 24% of their ball games when they travel. And no real surprise here, the Kings find themselves in the bottom three in defensive field goal percentage as well. They're taking on a Thunder team who successfully covered the point spread in five out of their last six. They do a real nice job of covering at home. OKC's covering the number in 66% of their contests at the Paycom Center. Shea Gilgis-Alexander's averaging over 23 points per contest, along with four boards and five and a half assists. Meanwhile, Darius Baisley, he's scoring just about double-digit points a game himself, along with six rebounds. And speaking of rebounds, OKC's in the top five in the NBA in offensive boards per game. So as bad as these guys have been, I mean, they're not hapless with regard to covering the number. There's actually uh, several bright spots for these guys. Now, injury-wise, Williams, Jerome, uh, Giddy, and Dort, they are all uh, out. They're out for OKC. Meanwhile, for Sacramento on the other side, Davis, uh, Davis he's still out and definitely uh, still for them. Holmes is questionable when it comes to the total in this one. Sacramento saw unders recently with Denver and Brooklyn. They're also 60% to the under in their last 10 meetings with OKC. Meanwhile, the Thunder saw unders recently with Chicago, Philadelphia, and Golden State. I'm going to lean toward OKC plus five. And the under 228 and a half. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup for part two. It is going to be the Spurs versus the Grizzlies, 8 p.m. Eastern start time. Memphis is minus eight and a half. Totals 237. Now, the Grizzlies won seven out of their last nine ball games. They covered in 78% of those contests. Memphis is also 20 and 10 straight up in the FedEx Forum. They're very good uh, at home. Uh, and in addition to that, um, they're leading the league in home offensive boards. Now, John Moran averages nearly six rebounds a game. He's also scoring 27 points a night along with five assists. Meanwhile, Desmond Baines drilling 41% of his three-pointers. He also averages 17 points a game. And speaking of scoring, the Grizzlies are in the top three in the league in offensive points per contest. They're taking on a San Antonio team who wins just 40% of their road games, and they've really had a tough time defensively this season. San Antonio is in the bottom five in points allowed per contest. They're also in the bottom five in defensive boards per game on the road. When it comes to the injury report, McDermott and Langford are questionable for the Spurs. Meanwhile, for Memphis, Concher, Ponce, and Brooks are out. Clark is questionable. When it comes to the total on this one, Memphis went 80% to the over in their last 10 outings. They also averaged 119 points a game in their last 10 meetings with the Spurs. Meanwhile, San Antonio went 70% to the over in their last 10 outings themselves. I'm going to lead toward Memphis, minus 8.5. 
and the over 237. And with that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on BrockPage.com. If you guys do end up getting a membership here today on my website, just keep in mind we utilize the Patreon platform. And the way Patreon does their billing is they actually bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So if you do end up getting a membership here today, unfortunately, you're going to get, you know, dinged twice in two days. I always tell folks in every single video, the earlier in the month you sign up, the better. So if I were you and I were on the fence, maybe thinking about it, you probably just want to wait until tomorrow and wait till March 1st to, to uh, pull the trigger on that. But, you know, if you want to get, uh, we got five premium bets out today. So if you want to, you know, see what those are, you know, board members get access to every single pick that I give out on that website. But once again, guys, um, you know, Patreon a billion the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So you probably want to wait until tomorrow, March 1st, where you get your uh, max value. But anyway, guys, uh, most importantly, I got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, guys, happy Monday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at brockpage.com.